Hello everyone, this is Bobby Gannon Who here. Welcome to episode 24 of Let's Play Sly 3 on Alarm Thieves. In this yes, episode, we did a treasure hunt and got Dimitri's diving gear. And Dimitri uses that gear to go underwater and kill a bunch of sharks, including some hammerhead ones. That's sick. <laughs> At least he's still kind of a villain. It's okay, so. Let's. I wish I could just select another job, but no, I gotta sail this really slow boat to another job because. Oh, just. Why, Sucker Punch? Why? Why is this a thing? Well, this next job should kind of explain why we got this stupid sailing thing here. We're closing in on one of the Red Sail Sea Dog Clan. Beat two quarters. Excellent. We've got one away from the rest of the fleet. Make sure to board the enemy vessel once their mast has fallen. We need to find out the patrol routines for the rest of the clan. With some planning, we should be able to ambush them in small groups. To arms! Their mast is down! Ram our ship into theirs and jump onto the enemy's vessel! Cause yeah, so, cause there's a sh You need to do ship battles. I don't know what you call them, but yes, you can battle against other ships. And not only that, once you take the mask down, you can jump onto that ship and steal the loot once you defeat the captain. Which is kind of like a mini boss here. Which is pretty cool, but... Honestly, we do not like this. I mean, you got tans on your left side and you got cannons on your right side. Yeah. So there you go. I guess you can take down ships or steal the loot to get money. So, yeah. So we can either sink the boats or steal the loot from the boat to gain tons of money. And that's each ship bell you get given away or something. I know. I assume it means absolutely nothing your pirate rank, so I'm not going to bother getting the highest rank, whatever it is. So, and you gotta make sure that. Your boat doesn't sink itself because you got two health bars, one for each side. And, well, if one of your two health bars goes one out, you're losing. You gotta do it all over again, so that's not fun. I mean, I hate this. I mean, I really absolutely hate this. Your boat is really weak. You fix your ship by bashing the water leaks with your cane. It takes forever f for you to turn the ship. It takes forever for the cannons to reload. And I just hate this. I absolutely bloody hate this. This this was probably the worst gameplay section added in any of the bloody. Slide games. I absolutely hate it. Why did they decide to do this? This is incredibly stupid. This isn't fun. This is boring. This is tedious. I hate it. And unfortunately, there's also a of feature surrounding this because, of course, there is. Just why is this a thing? Why? I think they went forward with the pirate thing a little bit too far here. Also, my my boat is nearly done, so I'm speeding so well because this goes on for too long. It's too damn tedious. And also, you should realize I died. Well, I d my six shot sunk. So yeah. Now, I guess this is a way of going out for more money, but it's so boring. Tears. I don't honestly don't really recommend doing this. However, however, still recommend you just destroy things and pit pocket. I would be able to get from mine or just do that trick I showed you a couple episodes ago. This is just boring and tedious. You can see I'm just doing a bunch of spin attacks on my own boat. It's because my shit is so slow. I hate this. What? Then you think that this was a good idea. 
Huh, well, it's swabby. Don't know what that means. Okay. Next. Uh, honestly, just watching this makes me want to go to sleep. You know, it's completely sped up. I, mean, I try to speed this up as much as I can because these are boring, go on forever. The boat news too slow. I. I uh, and there's so. Bowling. Why can't we just stuck to to the main hub world and do the same stuff there? Why we just decided to completely change things up? It isn't fun. I hate this gameplay section. I hate it. Oh, thank God. Sure, but I play away so much time that uh, Lee Free is play away kill Penelope at this point. Ugh. So yeah, that was boring. But now let's slowly sail away to the next. Next, um. Yeah. It's that far away. Are you kidding me? Ugh. Why can't I just select a job and merely teleport to there? Why do I need to do. Why. Is this sailing section necessary? Why can't I just do normal what we're doing for the past four episodes and just stay to the same harbor? Why do I have to sail the oceans? I mean, it's fun stealing a power ship, but I don't want to use it. It's boring. I hate more than Penelope herself. <laughs> oh, there you go. So here we go. Sharp eye out. Sorry, Bentley, but I can't see a thing in this fog. If your sea monster's here, there's no way we'll find him. Well, it's imperative we track it down and discover why the pirates fear it so vehemently. Panda King, do you have any fireworks that might light the place up a little? Make it easier to spot the creature? My fireworks are not flared. They burst with ferocious beauty and then disappear like the lightning. We should really get out of here. With visibility this bad, we might sail into a rock. The boat might take some real damage. Okay, now that's some real damage. The sea monster is upon us. Go below deck and placate the others. I will confront this creature with my firework artistry. Give a shout if you need any backup. I'll stand ready. Okay, so who's ready to take down the Kraken? Looks like the squids from Satoon want to take out the Sly Cooper game for some reason. Okay. But yeah, remember when that plane is a panicking again? Yeah, we're never in. <laughs> so you now choose to face me. Behold the Panda King, your master. Okay. So yeah, so just unleash your full power fireworks at at the. Kraken's tentacles and keep doing it until you say the force stop. The ship's getting pulled under. If we get tipped over too far in either direction, we're as good as sunk. Okay, so again, just use your fireworks to get all the tentacles off the ship for it. It sinks. So. Yeah, again, just keep doing this until you're told to do something else. Well, that's weird. The panicking is actually quite boring to play as. Just shoot missiles until you're done. Yes, rise and let me punish you. 
Hey, you're still doing a lot of talking. Well, yeah. Now you gotta dodge, dodge his ink balls, I guess. But on that, it's the same stick. Just keep five fireworks until he's down. Rah! Timid creature. With my beautiful fireworks, I will. I. They are all gone. Cooper, your assistance is requested. I'm here. What's the score? Protect the vessel while I go below and hurriedly craft more fireworks. Sure thing. Bentley, you check out that fight? Crusher must be on its last legs at this point. I mean, what could he have left? I'd say about another hundred feet and a dozen tentacles. Just a rough guess. Oh great, the panicking is one hour of fireworks, so now it's time to use Psycho to use the cannons to take it out. Well, for that we basically just this time we need to make sure to stick all his tentacles on a sh on a ship and wait for him to get close and then shoot the cannon straight in his eye. And keep doing that until I don't know he dies. We go, and they're merely trying to hit the tackles. Go. They don't really stay on the ship for long, so you gotta be really quick on hitting the tentacles until, well, they come off, so. Gotta be very quick with hitting those tentacles, obviously, they'll come off, you gotta wait for it to come back then again. Are you understanding any of this? Because I'm sure not. There you go. It's probably blinded by now. You really softened him up for me. That was a solid action reaction, bros. You two stand tall. Say, Guru, could you get inside this creature's mind? Oh, no, no, no. Who would do it? That's a brilliant idea. But are you sure you can pull it off? Hey, Baba, oh, no. Hi, Baba, oh, no. Then let's do it. Just take any precautions you can. What's he trying to do? Getting us a new ally out here in the sea. Hi, Baba Jaha! Master! Don't leave us! Oh yeah, we're never the guru, he exists. And I'll be catching by the Kraken. <laughs> because. What well, can't. What do you think what we did to him? Well, got belly again. Operation Reverse Double Cross. Our goal, as we all know, is to save Penelope. Given her crafty nature, Left We has undoubtedly locked her up in one of his most secure locations. They are one, the Skull Keep, and two, the Brig of the Death's Head. Our team is too small to assault both simultaneously, so we'll have to fall back on a little slide of hand. First, we sail in and exchange broadsides with the Death's Head. Armed with the element of surprise and our cannon upgrades, it should be a fair fight. But remember, Penelope might be on board, so we cannot sink this ship. Once the mass fall, Sly should jump onto the enemy vessel and then promptly surrender. A necessary step for two reasons. First, that boat is packed with pirates. Way too many to fight hand to hand. And second, it's the best way to get an audience with Lafuit. Given his smug nature, he's sure to brag where she's hit it if we can get him angry enough. Got that Sly? Irritate the daylights out of this guy. It's our best and only chance to rescue Penelope. Once he talks, we roll out plan A or B, depending on the situation. This Lefui is a smart man. Our only hope is to outsmart him at his own game. Okay, thank God we're in episode 5 now. 
Okay, like I was saying, the goo is now being captured by the Kraken goes, I mean, well, we tried to kill the Kraken, so what do you think he was going to do? Nah, it's king. The goo is actually taking control of the Kraken's mind. He's going to come back, don't you worry, he's going to come back. Well, we reached the end of episode 5. Got another trophy, Pink Power Burry Fighter. And... Slide Tongue Cannon Approved. How do you pronounce that? I know it's Egyptian, but... Whatever. Operation Reverse Double Cross. Apparently we're Neela all of a sudden. <laughs> uh. Okay. Just one more really slow sailing journey because screw this gameplay section. Should be nearly there. There we go. Don't know what they said, but now we need to destroy the free ship. We couldn't make in sync, but then we will lose Penelope and we need to rescue her, even though I we bad off losing Okay, I'm um, not my hatred for the Penelope. Choice board in a ship packed with over a hundred pirates. Sure, your cane is up to the task of cracking all our skulls. I don't know about all of you, but yours, I'm sure it can manage. Yeah, restrain this man and keep your distance from the enemy vessel. This smells of lubber trickery. Take heart, boys. Been a while since we witnessed a good plank walking. Plank's got splinters in it. I thought a prissy sailor like you would take more pride in his ship. Oh, no. I take a great deal of pride working splinters into the feet of those about to walk my plank. Ah, ah. Just the extra touches that makes all the difference. Making me walk the plank? You're the pinnacle of creativity, Lefui. Not creative? I'm the smartest man in the seven seas, you... You slanderous scabbard! You've got a real knack for pirate talk. Put two nonsense words together and pow! Scary pirate name calling. Bah! You might be quick with the put downs, but who's got the hidden girl? Ha ha ha! Me! You'll never find her! Yeah, I suppose she'd have to keep her locked up. After all, if she ever got away, you'd never get a date. It is true, I have a strong personality. But I've never had a problem with the ladies. Especially when I have a broadside aimed at their sailboat. Uh, savvy! Hidden? A fellow sharp as you couldn't hide a stick in the forest. I've got some skill in hiding my blade in lover's guts. Fancy a demonstration? I'm not worried about Penelope. A girl tough as that will free herself by tomorrow morning. Then come and steal your wallet. Ha! That chickadee will never escape her skull keep. She's locked up in irons and there she stays until she agrees to love me, despite all my faults. Now be the time sharks launched on your parts. You're the captain. <laughs> Step on it, Murray. They've got Penelope locked up in the Skull Keep. Check! What? The lovers get in the way! After them, boys! Send up the signal flag! She's all our boys! Uh, yeah. She expected that, Liffy. I feel like King, he did expect that. Okay. Yay, more rafts. At least it's faster than the giant ship we had to control. So, you know what? I don't mind this. I wasn't alone either. For Penelope, you keep the boat safe. 
We're gonna need it for the escape. Safe as a baby! Now get moving! Like, there's a back route up the Skull Keep. Jump on the floating boxes. Penelope and I made a walkway all the way to the top. Okay. Thanks for being sly note, you know I already know. Okay, let's... Is it me, or does it make no sense that Penelope would be here? I think it makes more sense that the three still hasn't kept it on our own ship. I mean, it makes sense that he'll have her near him. Why would he, he put her here? Hmm, something's afoot. Hmm, it's not like I'm foreshadowing anything. Hmm. Hmm. What's in that door? Hmm. Hmm. Penelope, that you? It's time for a rescue. Lafui. <laughs> He's good. Well, wow, that's unsurprising. Outmaneuver the smartest man on the seven seas! <laughs> Not hardly. First mate Jones! Aye aye, sir. Take a battalion of your best men and raid the Cooper ship. There's sure to be some lingering rats aboard. What? Uh, sir! Don't cut me off while I'm speaking, or I'll cut you off from breathing. The Cooper ship is making for the open water, sir. Hmm. Rats is Make full say what we must, we got. If they make it out to sea, we'll never catch them. Aye, aye, sir. Bentley, Sly's all blown up, and Lafuy's boat is gaining on you. Keep it together and meet me at the mouth of the harbor. If I can get into deeper waters, I should be able to give this guy the slip. But Sly! Keep it together. We're not done yet. Blast! They'll make it out to sea in this wind. Jones! Aye, sir. Load the cannons and prepare to come about. If the breeze don't help, we'll fall back on iron and powder. Fire! Abbas there! Afraid you didn't quite make it out of the harbor. <laughs> prepare to surrender your vessel. Sorry, Lafui, but I'm sure this water is deep enough. Deep enough to be your grave. Guru, crush her now! Oh, my thunder! Just crush her! Crush her! Ha, go da da! Hoodie Good to see you too! I'll focus on freeing Penelope. You take care of any pirates that might come up on deck. Use the left and right analog sticks to control your tentacles. Then hit the R1 button and L1 button to smash guys. Well, I don't see any buns or thumb sticks on this Kraken. <laughs> Whatever. Don't you go back, but next time on Let's Play Slifey On on Thieves, we'll see finishing off episode 5. And punching the free in the face. So, Morgan, who? And I'll see you next time. Later, people.